Right now, dozens of people gathered outside a growing memorial for a fallen officer. People have been stopping by all day, leaving flowers, American flags, pictures and other mementos to honor Officer Jordan Sheldon. We even saw an impromptu prayer circle at one point this afternoon. Sheldon was shot and killed during a traffic stop late Saturday night. He was a six year veteran of the Mooresville Police Department. He was rushed to the hospital where he died from his injuries. The suspect in the case was found dead a short time later from an apparent self inflicted gunshot wound. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is live outside the growing memorial tonight. And Tanya, this is a really tough time for this community. It is, and actually just a moment ago, we just heard a chaplain ask for this group to gather to begin another prayer as well. We're expecting them to start that prayer any moment now, so out of respect for them, I'm going to step back a little bit. You can see people here holding hands among the people who we saw in the crowd earlier today, just about an hour ago. Officer Sheldon's father, he came by to pay his respects, asked us all if we would please turn off our cameras so he could have a moment alone, a moment of privacy. Just one of the many faces who's come out here today to pay tribute. Family members say Jordan Sheldon thought he was going to be an engineer one day, but he had another calling. Officer Sheldon was generally a nice guy. This is who he was, that he was a warrior. Sheldon, a six year veteran of the Mooresville Police Department and a member of the K-9 unit, went out on a call late Saturday night with his K-9 Ramon, one that sounded like any other traffic stop. Uh, dark in color Honda Civic, occupy one. It wasn't. Police say Officer Sheldon was gunned down by 28 year old Michael Aldana, who fled the scene. Police tracked him to a nearby apartment and found him dead from an apparent suicide, leaving a lot of unanswered questions about why he opened fire. The SBI reviewing Sheldon's body camera for clues. As soon as we get the facts, that, that's what we're waiting on. We, we don't want to give out any um, misinformation. Meanwhile, the memorial grows on Sheldon's SUV. People pay respects to the officer with a twinkle in his eye. It hurts as if I did know him. An easy laugh on his lips. Show that this matters to everybody. I mean, these cops are out there every day putting their lives on the line. Duty calls again. Officers still finding a way to answer that call, finding support in the arms of each other and the ones who love them. Just wanted to say how great of an officer he is, how great of a man he is, and how, how much of a hero he really is. out here now live that prayer circle continues I've stepped back several feet so that I'm not interrupting their prayer but this is just the scene that we've seen play out all day long people coming from the community many now coming as they get off work hoping to just pay any kind of respects that they can these prayers expected to continue through the evening as more and more people stop by to pay their respects to officer Shelton and on Wednesday there'll be a community-wide vigil that will be held here in the town of Mooresville we'll keep you posted on any other updates as they become available Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Tanya, thank you. Of course, we will continue to follow this story all evening long. When we're not on the air, you can find the latest information on our website, WCNC.com.